Hi, what's up, guys? This is Mark Augustine, and and right now we have Gabe from Oetinia. So, if you're new to the channel, subscribe to the channel, like the video. What this channel is about is about e-commerce, drop shipping, and I usually do a combination of tutorial videos as well as interview leaders in the space of e-commerce. So, here we have Gabe from Oetinia. Gabe, do you want to introduce yourself really quickly? Hey, how's it going, everybody? My name is Gabriel. I'm part of the uh, OA Genius team, and I'm really, really excited to be on this uh, on this call with Mark today. Yeah, thank you for having me, yeah. Mark. Yeah, thank you. So, what what we're going to talk about today? Um, we had did a previous video before, and I, I I removed it because it wasn't ready for 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 public public viewing. I would say. <laughs> so, what we're going to talk about? You guys um, had launched a new product research tool, correct? Or sorry, not that you launched a new one or you changed how it was executed. Is it more like that? Right, so we, we currently have the Chrome extension where you have the Chrome extension and you can download it and you can go to different websites and, and do the product sourcing. Now we've brought it in app as well. So on top of having the Chrome extension, you have the option to source products uh, within, the, within your uh, extension login. And I can, we're, we're gonna go through that as well. Okay, okay, sweet. Um, so yeah, I don't know if you want to just go in and share through the process because guys, if you followed me on my channel, I've done a lot of videos doing um, product research using the Chrome extension. And what is interesting, what I think is interesting about this change is that the process that I used to go through using OAGS through product research went through like category by category. And now it's, it's a lot easier to do that with the, and, and it's a lot more automated to do that with the in-app feature. But yeah, so I mean, you are more the expert in, in the software and so on. So I don't know if you want to share your screen and share with these guys the change and differences. And Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Let me share my screen. I can show you the, uh, the in-app software. And, uh, you know, we can go from there. Yeah, and as you go through, I'll just ask you, okay. So what are we you looking see, at here? You see my screen? Yeah. Okay, so this is when you're logged into your extension account. Uh, your gravity extension accounts you'll be able to go to this little search icon over here and uh, begin your in-app search and the very first step is to select your selling channel so are you selling amazon fbm amazon fba or are you selling on walmart marketplace and that'll be the first step you'll choose that and based off of this step we'll calculate the profit for each item uh differently okay when you say calculate profit differently what do you mean well, so different, different, fees. different go ahead. Yes, there's different selling fees if you're selling Amazon FBM versus Amazon FBA uh, right. versus if you're selling on Walmart Marketplace. So based off of that information, we'll, you know, and, and, and the products that we're pulling in, we'll, uh, you know, we'll, we'll show you a uh, different profit for each item. Okay, okay. So guys, if you want to try, I'll put a link to, in the description to OA Genius if you guys want to try this out. I mean, I'm going to be doing, doing using it a lot more now. Now that using the in-app version of the, the, the software a lot more now. But yeah, Gabe, so what do you want to do? You want to do Amazon FBA? You want to do, F, sorry, FBM, Walmart? What, what process you want to show us? Yeah, I can, sh I can show you either one. Uh, I guess we'll start with FBM. But this okay. tool can be just used just as well for Amazon FBA if you're, if you're sourcing for FBA. And same with Walmart Marketplace. Uh, for this example, okay. we'll choose Amazon FBM. Okay. Uh, so we'll, we'll click here and I'll bring you to your next step to choose your supplier. Um, we have a, a few suppliers to choose from. For this example, I'm going to choose Zorro mm -hmm. and keep going to the right. Uh, you click the next arrow and it asks you to choose your supplier category. Now, here you can choose up to 10 uh, categories. So let's say I wanted to choose, let's say up to, up to 10. And, and is here, it that it pulls and, all the categories from the from the supplier? Yeah, it pulls in all the categories from the supplier. Wow, okay. So you have a ton of categories from Zorro. And from here, you click the next arrow and you're brought to a, a place where you can set your filters. Uh, mm -hmm. You can estimate sales tax. You can uh, choose a filter for items that are in stock at the supplier. Mm -hmm. You can estimate the shipping costs. If you estimate the shipping costs, you need to enter a zip code. Say we choose 90210. And then over here at the bottom, we have <laughs> ROI min and max, net profit mm -hmm. uh, dollars min and max, sales rank min and max, and profit margin min and max. 
So let's say right. I want to do minimum net profit of a dollar uh, and a maximum of, let's say, $50, or you don't have to put a maximum. And then you can put a sales rank, let's say, between one. And the sales rank is referring to Amazon's best seller rank, just for reference. The sales rank we can do between one, let's say, 500,000. Okay. And, and from here, you know, if, I'm, if, this, if these are the filters that I decide I want, I can go ahead and click the arrow to the next, to the next step, and that'll be the review step. And uh, at any point of the process, you can name your search. So I didn't, you can name it at the beginning or the end. So for this search, we'll just do test Zorro, right? Mm -hmm. And from here we have our review results. Uh, we have Amazon as a marketplace. We have all the supplier categories listed, the actual supplier and the filters that we've set. Once we've confirmed that these are the uh, options that we want, we click run search. And after you click run search, you'll be brought to the results tab where you'll have all your previous searches and uh, the current search. Now, for right. the sake of time, I'll, I'll just go ahead and show you what it looks like uh, in an already completed search. So this was a, a test that we ran uh, at Bath and Beyond. And over here, you have all the information that you would need about the item. Same uh, if, you, if you use Gravity extension, it's the same uh, information, maybe, and if not a little bit more. Um, and you have some action items where you can click the, the green plus button as a product to your buy list, which is a short list right. of products that you maybe want to list. And then going down uh, to the next uh, button, the purple button is if you have our Sage system, Sage for Amazon and Sage for Walmart, you can click that button. It'll auto fill all the information about the listing into your lister tool within Sage. And then you can go ahead and just list the product uh, right within Sage, just like that. So it's very simple to, if you're using both softwares together, it's very easy to list products. Um, and then going to the right, you have your, your uh, source URL and your, and your marketplace URL. You have the source price. Lowest, uh, lowest price FBM. Since we chose right. FBM at the beginning, we have the, our profit, the best selling rank, if there is one, buy box price, category, ASIN, UPC, and brand name. Wow, and those will be, okay. And those will be, and if we can, we'll pull all the, all the information that we can about the listing. And from here, um, you know, it's very easy. To, you can sort by, by specific profit. If you'd like, so if you want to see the, the most profitable items, you can source like this, and uh, or you can source by, you know, you can sort by best selling rank. There's a lot you can do within the within the tool once it's, once you're inside, once you have your products, uh, you know, all all loaded up. And under the info column, those links go directly to the the source, right? Right, exactly. Okay. It's directly to the source. So if you click this link, it'll go to Bed Bath and Beyond. If you click this link, it'll go to the Amazon Amazon listing. Nice. Okay. Okay. And what is it? How does, what is the, 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 is there a free trial to this? How does this work? Like how do people sign up for it? Do they, is it available to the public? Is it available to only current users? What's the story? Yeah. So the way that the, uh, you would sign up is you head over to our website, oagenius.com. You choose our, our product sourcing option and you can go ahead and create a, create an account and sign up for the, for the trial. The trial is, uh, it's for seven days. It's a seven dollar trial, mm -hmm. and then from there, if you decide you want to move forward, you can upgrade to the to the seventy nine dollar a month plan. Okay, okay, and that includes both the the Chrome extension and the in app sourcing. Right, exactly. So it includes both the extension and the in app sourcing, so you get access to both of those tools for that price. Um, mm -hmm. It's a month, and that's the monthly subscription price. Yep. Okay. Okay. Sweet. Um, so yeah, I mean, what else? So why would you, and so for Amazon FBA, right, so you don't need Sage. You could use this simply to do product research if you're using something else, but obviously it will, it will work better in tandem with Sage with respect to listing and automating the entire, um, the entire part of the process, right? So gravity right. is focused. So what those of you guys who are watching this, I know you guys may not be, like prop, completely versed with Oeginius, but Oeginius has Oeginius Gravity and Oeginius Sage. So Gravity is more of the is a product product research tool, and Sage is the 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 business management tool. For, well, that's what I. How would you how would you as someone as Oeginius describe Sage? 
Yeah, so, so Gravity is just for product research, right? But when it comes to actually listing the product, monitoring the inventory, managing your orders, managing your employees, all the reporting, everything, uh, you know, on the lines of that, that would be Sage, our, 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 our uh, Sage for Amazon, for Amazon Marketplace, and Sage for Walmart, for Walmart Marketplace. Right, and it's not necessary, is it necessary that they get Sage or, or, or the, you have the option of getting both, getting one or both, right? You have the option of getting one or the other. Um, they... So gra they, they perform very different functions. Gravity, gravity is just for the product research stages for you know, really run, running and managing the business, getting your, making sure your inventory is monitored, having everything in stock. Um, you know, sit, if you're asking me if, what you need to run your Amazon business effectively, mm. uh, I would say get both, of course. Uh, right. You know, I personally use both myself. You know, Sage is an, a very powerful tool and it saves you a ton of time, get, keeps you organized. You know, you know exactly how much profit you're making on a daily basis and, and it gives you full control over your business, really. Uh, Gravity, a really awesome way to automate product sourcing and source more products faster so you can make more profit because the simple equation with dropshipping is more listings equal more profit. And that's, right. that's really how it works in this industry. Okay, okay. And the faster you can source products the, and, the, and the faster you can list them. Uh, I know the, the faster your store grows. So yeah, so we went through Amazon FBM and you also basically what, what the process looks like. And it's a simple, I mean, I think it's a, it's a pretty logical process, right? So we could go through the same thing with Amazon FBA and see if there are different options or I don't know if there's different price, it, price. Like I know the fees are different, but what would the process look yeah, like? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. FBA? It'll look exactly the same and I'll, I can show you right now. Let me share my screen again. So again, you can name your search. Let's just do, maybe we do test FBA, right? Mm -hmm. And from here, you just click the Amazon FBA option You choose your supplier as before. So let's say we want to choose the same supplier, Zorro. You choose your supplier category. Again, the same, the same options available, right? We'll choose mm -hmm. a few categories. From here, you can uh, select your search filter criteria. Let's just say we want to keep it blank, which, which is an option. Right. Go to the next. And from here, we can choose run search and the search will be ran. It'll bring you to your results page. And right now it's queued up. So right now this search is still going on. Once that's finished, this next search will happen. And then you can always, uh, and, and when it's finished, you can always click in. And even while it's, uh, while, while you're, uh, even while the uh, results are, are loading up, once it shows that items are found, uh, you can actually click into this as well. So you don't have to wait for the, for the, for the uh, for the for the search to be done, mm -hmm. you can actually if there's products available um, while it's while it's loading up, you can actually click into the search and and they'll and you'll be able to analyze the listings uh, in real time. Okay. Okay. Wow. All right. Sweet. Thanks, Gabe. Um, so, guys, if you have any questions about Origenius about this new feature, leave a comment in the comment section. I'll also put a link to Origenius in the description. Um, I'll put a, a link to the group. And I plan to have, I think Jordan said, he, and I plan to have Jordan on the channel again next week. And this is really interesting, dude. I'm happy that you came on. Hopefully we can have you again. We've had you, have, had you on before, but hopefully we'll have you again on soon. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Anytime, Mark. Thanks for having me as well. I did. Have a good one.